when modi ji and uh, amit shah came with uh, so many steps to remove 370 or special status जस्टिस चंद्र चोट सी जे आई अपेरेंटली फाउंड दैट ऑल दीज स्टेप्स आर नॉट नेसेसरी एंड प्रेसिडेंट कैन सिंपली यूज थ्री सेवेंटी थ्री टू रिमूव स्पेशल स्टेटस ओके so um court mainly banked on this particular provision what does it say it says special status of jammu and kashmir can be ended only with the recommendation of the jammu and kashmir constituent assembly so most people found that uh, this was a difficult provision and uh, they didn't know how to overcome this because jammu and kashmir constituent assembly was not there mm, but then supreme court looked at this thing differently first of all this was not there but more importantly even if it was there its recommendation was non binding on president president can end special status using 373 with or without constituent assembly's consent recommendation so this is a completely different and uh, unusual interpretation nobody interpreted this way so why did uh, court think like this cjai makes uh, gives a very provocative explanation the way he looks at 373 he says like this he says all the states in the country have legislative and executive power albeit to different degrees 371a to 371j are examples of special arrangements for different states this is an example of asymmetric federation this is what cj wrote asymmetric federalism asymmetric federalism means so different states have uh, different kinds of powers with special arrangements with the union states in indian union are not equal indian federalism doesn't give equality of the states so it is called non not symmetric that is asymmetric federalism so Uh, cj says that uh, jammu and kashmir is also one of the states like any other in effect he means that jammu and kashmir did not have any special status it was like any other many other <laughs> special states are in effect jammu and kashmir had no special status what are these 371a to 371g you know these are the things 371a to 371g 371 maharashtra and gujarat 371a nagaland b assam c manipur d and d andhra pradesh f sikkim g mizoram h arunachal pradesh i goa j backward districts of hyderabad and karnataka because these deal with uh, some um power special responsibilities of the governor towards certain regions or uh, on the whole state he having some special powers like in nagaland and then sometimes uh, people there have 
certain government reservations, things like that. So essentially, certain special arrangements are given and uh, CJA says this is uh, equal to or not different from 370. Jammu and Kashmir is a case of a special arrangement like any other state and uh, which means you know these states um, are not really uh, uh, sovereign entities. In fact, uh, Article 3 can be applied on uh, uh, any of them. They are not sovereign entities. So, um, to Justice Chandrasut, uh, Jammu and Kashmir also does not have any amount of sovereignty. It is a case of asymmetric arrangement like any other state. There is no special sovereignty to it. Okay. And uh, this is an extremely serious issue. How can he say there is no sovereignty to Jammu and Kashmir and like any other states? Okay. Because if Jammu and Kashmir is not given a degree of sovereignty, then how do you explain this problem? For example, Jammu and Kashmir has all these provisions, a separate constitution, separate flag and then Jammu and Kashmir is attached to India through Article 370 but parliament can't amend it through Article 368, amendment not possible. Next, people there are called permanent residents. Okay, um, those who have migrated to that place won't be called permanent residents and permanent residents have, only permanent residents have the right to vote, to contest in elections, to buy land, to own property and only they are eligible for scholarships and government jobs. So only they can vote and contest in elections, is that the case with other uh, 371 uh, states? And then, are they, are they given constitution and a flag and uh, preventing the Indian parliament to amend their constitution through 368. So, and then, you know, in the names of the posts uh, there, Jammu and Kashmir, Sadari Riyazat and Prime Minister, later change it to Governor and Chief Minister. So what do all these things uh, explain? Constitution, flag, not amendability and then this is like citizenship. So this is, is this not a case of uh, sovereignty? Can this be equated with uh, states like Andhra Pradesh or Arunachala Pradesh, um, Assam where uh, Article 3 can simply be applied and uh, dismissed even if the state legislatures didn't consent. Um, so 370 indeed gives a special status, Jammu and Kashmir was given special status and CJA didn't think that there was any special status. So this is a very very serious uh, judgment or I would say it is a serious uh, misjudgment of the issue. Thank you.